What if you could create a full 3D world just by typing a sentence? Not a static image, not a short animation, but a playable, interactive environment built in seconds by an AI that remembers, adapts, and responds like it's alive. This isn't science fiction. This is Genie 3, the newest AI system from Google DeepMind. It doesn't just generate video, it creates worlds. Worlds you can walk through, worlds where objects stay put even when you turn around. Worlds that learn, evolve, and respond to your commands. And for the first time, AI might be building the next generation of games, simulations, and even synthetic reality without a single line of code. Stick around, because in this video, we'll break down what Genie 3 actually is, how it works under the hood, why it could change the future of gaming, robotics, and AGI itself, and how you, yes you, might one day use it to build worlds from your imagination. Let's dive in. In simple terms, it's a world model AI developed by Google DeepMind. It takes a text prompt, like, a grassy field with two hills and a small river, and generates a fully interactive 3D environment. Not a pre-rendered video, but a playable space that runs at 720p and 24 frames per second. And the kicker? You can walk through that space, look around, interact. The environment remembers what you've seen. If you move an object or walk behind a tree, it doesn't reset. It stays, just like the real world. This is far beyond GPT-style text generation or diffusion image models. We're talking about coherent virtual physics, object permanence, and spatial memory. Genie 3 is more than just content creation. It's synthetic reality construction. Genie 3 builds on earlier models like Genie 1 and Genie 2, but this is a massive leap. It uses something called a latent world model, a technique where the AI doesn't render every pixel in real time. Instead, it constructs a simplified representation of the world, like a mental model, and then renders it into video as needed. Kind of like how your brain doesn't redraw the whole room every second, but keeps a rough internal map that updates when new info arrives. Here are key features. Text to world generation. A simple sentence generates a fully rendered scene. Temporal consistency. Objects stay consistent across frames, even if they leave your field of view. Dynamic updates. You can issue new prompts mid-simulation, like make it rain, or add a giant boulder, and it updates in real time. Agent interactivity. You can insert an AI agent into the world and let it explore autonomously. And here's the wild part. Genie 3 runs in Google's data centers. It's not limited by your GPU. That means, eventually, this tech could power cloud-based interactive experiences for millions of people at once. Take a look. What you're seeing are not games or videos. They're worlds. Each one of these is an interactive environment generated by Genie 3, a new frontier for world models. With Genie 3, you can use natural language to generate a variety of worlds and explore them interactively, all with a single text prompt. Let's see what it's like to spend some time in a world. Genie 3 has real-time interactivity, meaning that the environment reacts to your movements and actions. You're not walking through a pre-built simulation, Everything you see here is being generated live as you explore it. And Genie 3 has world memory. That's why environments like this one stay consistent. World memory even carries over into your actions. For example, when I'm painting on this wall, my actions persist. I can look away and generate other parts of the world. But when I look back, the actions I took are still there. And Genie 3 enables promptable events, so you can add new events into your world on the fly. Something like another person, 
or transportation. Or even something totally unexpected. You can use Genie to explore real world physics and movement, and all kinds of unique environments. You can generate worlds with distinct geographies, historical settings, fictional environments, and even other characters. We're excited to see how Genie 3 can be used for next generation gaming and entertainment. And that's just the beginning. Worlds can help with embodied research, training robotic agents before working in the real world, or simulating dangerous scenarios for disaster preparedness and emergency training. World models can open new pathways for learning, agriculture, manufacturing, and more. We're excited to see how Genie 3's world simulation can benefit research around the world. Why it matters. This isn't just a cool tech demo. Genie 3 is a major milestone on the road to artificial general intelligence. Let's break it down. For gamers. Imagine designing game levels just by speaking them out loud. Generate a cyberpunk city at night with NPCs walking around. Boom. Your environment appears. For developers. This could replace parts of the pipeline in engines like Unity or Unreal. Less scripting, less asset creation, faster iteration. For robotics researchers, Genie 3 lets you simulate environments where a robot agent can train safely before deploying in the real world. Warehouses, kitchens, disaster zones, you name it. For education and training. Firefighting simulations, industrial repair, virtual medical training. All built from prompts, no coding required. For creators like you. As a YouTuber or educator, you could use Genie 3 to create fully immersive visualizations of abstract topics. Imagine teaching quantum mechanics with a virtual lab generated live, or storytelling through explorable mythological environments. This is next-gen content. Let's take a few real examples from the research preview and Reddit leaks. One developer asked Genie 3 to create a desert canyon. The AI generated it with depth, ambient lighting, and even a sense of heat distortion. A robotics lab used Genie 3 to simulate a warehouse environment, testing how virtual agents navigated aisles and avoided obstacles. Another user asked Genie 3 to generate a post-apocalyptic city and then modified it in real time. Add fog, add broken cars, add a robot walking. It worked. This level of creative control used to take weeks in a 3D engine. Now it takes seconds. And here's something to consider. Google didn't just build Genie 3 to make pretty games. They built it to teach AI to think in space and time. Just like humans. Now let's be real. Genie 3 isn't perfect. Short simulation duration. Right now, it runs stable for a few minutes at a time. Beyond that, memory consistency starts to degrade. 720p resolution. It's not Ultra HD. The focus is on world coherence, not photorealism. Yet. Limited human modeling. It's not great at simulating social interactions or groups of people talking. That's still a hard problem for world models. Compute hungry? Genie 3 runs in a data center. You can't install it on your PC yet. But remember, Genie 1 came out just a year ago. Genie 3 is already leagues ahead. Imagine what Genie 5 will do. Let's zoom out for a second. This is more than just game tech. This is a new computing paradigm. Just like the graphical user interface changed how we interacted with computers in the 80s and the web transformed how we shared information in the 2000s. Genie 3 hints at a future where the interface is reality itself, where instead of designing tools for productivity, we design worlds for understanding. And guess what? The more AI learns to think inside a world, navigate space, 
track cause and effect. Reason about physics, the closer we get to human-like cognition. World models are how kids learn. AI is doing the same. And Genie 3? It's the best world model we've ever built. So what happens next? Will Genie 3 become the engine behind the next generation of games? Will it be the foundation of a fully explorable AI internet? Will it train the first truly general intelligence? No one knows yet, but one thing's clear. Genie 3 is not a toy. It's a telescope into AI's future. And if you're as excited or as concerned as we are about where this is headed, then you're in the right place. Smash that like button if this blew your mind. Subscribe to AI Ascension to stay ahead of the curve. Drop a comment. What would you build with Genie 3? Because the era of synthetic worlds is just beginning. And you don't want to miss what's coming next.